Hello, I'm Job Dewey here, and here we're on the site of the catastrophic thick event of the plumbing. As you see here, you got some black ABS pipe. Comes down here, has a little notch cut out of it. Comes down here, and there's a place where uh, more piping as to that pipe. As you can see with a little uh, whoop right there. And so this notch here was to help relieve the fact that down the pipe this way, there was a clog somewhere uh most heinous and um when it clogged the doors came back up this way through this pipe here which goes down and into the house into the washing machine goes and so what we're going to do today is uh, in theory dig more around this pipe mostly back this way up the pipe um avoid this here um, yep there it is gas line i know it's a gas line because the gas lines also are underneath this pipe here. Uh, luckily there's uh, metal parts there that go to your house. The part that goes to your house from the company is usually plastic so it doesn't deteriorate as easy. But um, since there's no bubbles coming from that water, I know I haven't cracked the metal pipe yet. And um, instead of having a plumber come into your house and have to put a snake down your drains, I'm going to put something called a washout in right here where this uh, rear relief thing was done at. And so I'll leave it as is now, go to a hard, the hardware store I keep in business, and buy one, and um, do some measurements. First I'll measure the uh, pipes, see what the diameters are on them, measure the distance, make sure I find a washout that's longer than that, which I'm sure I will, and uh, get those pipes, some uh, ABS glue, and be back to uh, clean this up. But first I'll dig more of that out, and... For now, I run the washing machine. I'm actually pushing like dirt and stuff out from the end of the pipe there into the hole. And if the hole and the water fills up to that other pipe, then it comes down this way here, underground now, all the way to this little setup here. And this little setup you see there, more black ABS comes out this way, hooks that way, and then oh, the two's cut off. And that goes over yonder. Uh, you can probably see there's somewhere, anyways, a cast iron pipe. And uh, we'll be taking care of that later on this video, including how to uh, get under the concrete out there. But for now, off to the hardware store. All right, before I go, what we got here is a little bit of the uh, the pipe there. You see, a little ABS here, and we'll do a little measurement. So, measure here. We got, what's that, I'm almost two and a half. All right, the inner is two. Write that down. I'm pretty sure this is maybe two and a half inch pipe. Sometimes you can see some measurements on the side. Uh, nope, right there it says two inch. So, we're looking for two inch pipe, and now we'll go over there and measure that cutoff hole. Ah, but wait. Instead of going there and measure that cutoff hole, let's measure this little guy. So, this here is about, uh, almost, wow, look at that, almost six inches almost. So, it's something that's going to be bigger than six inches for my cleanup. And um, knowing this here is now a two inch ABS pipe, I'll need to get some parts. So, I'm ready to go to the store now. It's going fine. All right, so Treasures from the Hardware Store brought me this here. Um, little clean out sanitary tea and uh this here will go in that uh spot there the the six inch gap this pair is going to go up above ground probably and um attached to this here will be this little combo threads on the inside glue on the bottom side cap here this goes in here and guess what even though this goes together no nah, different prices i guess in case you uh need just a cap for some reason you know if you lost one and um, here we need some couplers, and we need some extra pipe. Yeah, ABS there, look at that long one. Ten feet of it, but you know what? For this job, I think I'll probably use it all. Plus, need some more. Now, the secret here is, oh yeah, we also need this here uh, pipe reamer. This here will uh, ream not so much this, because this is new, but the older pipe cut off over there. This will ream around that. It will ream around the big one here. Right in there. 
Kind of take it, run it around here, and get some of that action there. Eh, you probably can't see, but anyway, just you really want to get the uh, sharp edges off. And uh, you can get on the outside too a little bit. Usually I like to get the edges off that too to make sure it's smooth when it goes into something like this here. And so we have two of these couplers, the T, or the Y, I guess you should say. And um, the way this installs is if your water's flowing this way, you know, that's the way you install it. It's probably self-explanatory of this here. Um, if you're going to snake a drain or need a, do an inspection camera, in theory, you'll be able, to, in theory you'll be able to open up this top part, put the snake down in it. It'll come this way here, and it'll go all the way down that part of the line, you know, something like that. Goes all the way down, and it'll see if he has any roots, you know, things, whatever. And um, hacksaw, the hacksaw on this one here. Um, I was going to use a um, electric saw, but you know what? Forgot it. So I'll try this hacksaw, if it, and it should work. I just need to cut through, uh, you know, two inch pipe here. And the problem is, I just discovered, is that the part that was cut out over there, this part here, is guess what? Guess folks, remember? It's like, you know, yeah, about six inches or so, right? This right here? Ah, six inches too. So, what we're gonna have to do is use a coupler and probably about a inch or so of this maybe, or maybe I'll do like two inches, um, to be able to see this here would fit in there perfect, which needs room about a half inch, three quarters of an inch here for the pipe to push in and, and actually glue in. So I'll come over here and I will cut off part of this pipe right there where the gray stuff's at. I'll cut it back this way. And you can see I dug a little bit back here. You want to up dig your pipe some. So, you know, this one here has no flexing in it because of this other part, but up dig that one. So when you go to push this thing all together, you can lift this pipe up and push it in and should all level back out again. Perfect. Now then, back over on this side here. And I should do a little tutorial about gluing. So let me get onto that. All right, so as you can see here, did a little... Uh, you know, smash up job of cutting that. See how level that is? Just kidding. How about this side? Uh, level. So, um, yeah, that's not perfectly level, but that will probably do fine. Now I'm going to take this uh, reamer deal here. I'm going to go on the inside there, run around a few times, go on both sides, and uh, be able to build something. There. Okay, also, what I could do sometimes, I take this file. You just get a little, you know, a little rubbing around the side. Mind you, use both hands though. So I'm going to bevel this um, outer side just a little bit on the tip there, on the top edge. Of this file, a uh, smooth file. All right, and as you can see, it's done. Ah, uh, just kidding. This here is a dry fitting. I um, just kind of press these pieces together, snug them down. And uh, there we go. So for this job here, we have pipe that's already in place. We'll be uh, coming in through here. This here goes into our little breacher pipe here to spread the gap because the gap's very long enough. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer and make this in there center nicely. This part goes in here, and this here will attach to the other part of the pipe that's in place now. And um, so basically, we got some uh, ABS cement here, you know. It's for uh, ABS cement. ABS. Of course, everyone knows who makes this, but um, and uh, direction is pretty much simple. You uh, cut it, clean it, your pipes, and then you take this here. I, I usually give it a little shake, but um, open it up, give it a little stir, make sure it's all kind of blended itself. And uh, then I just there's an applicator on the bottom, and using my finger, just the applicator, I will. You know, like this here's about you know yay so three quarters of an inch I do about three quarters of an inch back on this wrap around it do inside wrap around it do back on the outside back on the inside put them together and give them a little twisty motion as it goes in and try to bottom this part out here into this legend here you can see the little legend there 
and then I hold it for about 30 seconds it says um, and that should be done so I'm gonna assemble this stuff together and I'll be ready to assemble it onto the other pipe and um, you know, I'd like to just try to show this but I only have two hands this is like a two-hand job plus hold the camera so so no I'll just uh, do it and show you the after effects. Okay, now let's try this out here. So we got our parts laid out here. We got the glue ready to go here. Let me just uh, put this over here. And um, all right, so open this up like so. Do uh, yeah, a little bit like this. Like so. Some of this part around here. On the outside, make sure you get every little uh, part, but it works fast. And back on the inside. You don't want it to pull either, so make sure you spread it evenly. And one more on the outside here. And pop it in there. Now these two here, you just kind of push in with a little twisting action. Now it's bottomed in. Now I'll hold it here for uh, 30 seconds or so. <laughs> no, hold on. And, um, uh, all right, give us three seconds. Give it a little twist. No, 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 I'm not going to give it a little twist. And then uh, there's a little bit of extra on in here, so I'll take my rag and kind of come around it. Because what this stuff does is it actually chemically fuses the two pieces together. And they say that now this bond in here is stronger than the pipe itself. So. That's how you glue ABS together. And, um, yeah, now I'll go the rest of it and then put it in. Alright, as you can see in there, you see that glue, uh, there you go, make it looks a little bit better. You see the glue's in there, and it's uh, right around the rim there, so that there is a good seating. Oops, oh well. All right, so now back over here on this part, I measured the other part and did a little bit of math and figured what I need to do is uh, cut off a gap of 8.75. And so I want to keep this part here. So I measured the cross here, 8.75, made a little notch there. And um, I derived that number from taking the overall measure of the apparatus we uh, just created there and subtracted about the inner um, measurement to the, the there's like an inner lip on those parts and yeah they're about three quarters of an inch so it was ten and a quarter so took off 75 and 75 and got me a that's 0.75 and um yeah it got me the 8.75 so now that I mark that I can concentrate more uh, mark that <laughs> concentrate more on a using the good old hacksaw here and hopefully make it a straighter cut than last time and then I'll just deburr the side insides, do a little front and outsides, and uh, probably do a little more cleaning on the pipes to get the kind of like mutter debris off sand, and then I'll be ready to um, assemble. Well, there it is. I dry tested it first, and it was a little pain, the pain to, um, to dry test it, and so I actually packed that a little bit more down the pipe road. Did the gluing and the fittings, get some more gluing, crammed it in there, straightened up, made sure I laid this one here flat straight again as good as I can get it, and held it there for 30 seconds. And now it's ready to test out, but not quite yet. This stuff here says it could, um, I think, fully strengthen in two hours. So it's getting a little dark where I'm at now, and you know, there's some spires and stuff coming out. And so uh, I'm like, let's, let's look up in here. Anything in there? Yeah. Anyways, so the spires are just coming out, so um, it's time for me to probably call it a day on this job for now, and I will head back tomorrow and see about working on the uh, the cap part. The cap part, of course, will come from here, and really, I could have almost gotten the um, mail adapter, which would have gone down here, and the screw top could have gone. I think I will do a little bit of extension just to get it a little bit uh, higher. I think. Uh, you know the dirt doesn't need to be put down too much. I think someone said there's gonna be some brickwork done here to cover up the ground. 
And so, you know, a little bit higher, keep uh, above the brickwork there. And uh, yeah, so I'll continue this tomorrow. All right, so another day, and I already checked out the uh, work from yesterday we did down there and ran about, I don't know, seven gallons through it or something. And it seems to be not dripping there. So that's good. Now, the last part is to put on the clean out part. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do a little bit more higher height than what we got there. And I said, you know what? That little dirty piece of pipe from the other day, you guys recognize it. Yeah, right there. I decided to clean that little filler up and um, reuse it, repurpose it. You know, it's still good. It's got some life to it. And so I'm going to do uh, that pipe on the adapter here for the clean out. The plug will go in it with no glue. And, um, you know, glue that into that there. And uh, that should finish this job. Let's, uh, when we get it done, I'll show you the end results. All right, so there we have it. We got that uh, pipe buried back up. Got it connected there. All I gotta do now is put this little cap in place. Give it turns. You wanna see it, see it down there? Urgh. That's pretty snug. So, there we go. This job's complete. And, um,. This concludes the, I don't know, first or second video of the catastrophic plumbing event here. And as you can see, it would probably be a part two. Because we still have a, a little ways to go in uh, the land of plumbing here. So once again, a uh, job doer here. And... Um, Make sure you wear your eye protection, even if you don't think you need it. When you do the reaming around the, the parts there, you know, some of that aegis can fly out and hit you in the eye. Not fun. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And if you like, you know, subscribe and like the video. All right, thanks. Bye.